Alright, 2019 Ooh, section A data structure. Okay. Uh, briefly describe the concept of an abstract data type. An abstract data type is a way of storing and manipulating data by the use of a data structure and a set of predefined function to to carry out the operation of manipulating. If you can't get two marks for that, there's no other, there's no, nothing like that. Alright, I think this has four nodes containing letters H E A P. Or to spell the word the aid of a diagram explain how a new node containing letters C can be inserted at the start of the Ah, it was spelled cheap. Uh -huh. So we will create the four nodes that we have so far. H E A P. Connect you to the ground. H E A P. Connect you like that. Ship on the side of the right. So you go there. You go there. Right. So everybody pointing to everybody. And then you're supposed to have the head. And the head is supposed to point to that guy. But they want you to illustrate how you're going to insert the C. So apparently, what they want you to do is they want you to show that the head was pointed here. But it's no longer pointed there. You have the new node with the C in it. So the the head is now going to be pointed to the C and there's a dotted line to show that it was connected to the P and the solid line here. So the new node is created and the C is inserted in the data portion. The head is sorry, the new node, new node is pointed to the H and the head is then pointed to the new node. Ta-da! Two for the diagram, two for explanation. Logo letter A can be deleted from the list. How are we going to show that the letter A is going to be deleted from the cards? I'm just copy this one diagram. What we want to do, we want to delete A. Logo A can be deleted from the list. Right, basically, you are going to take, you're going to take the H, say A, H, and then the H should be, and take the E, and point the E across to the P, and then be like, bye-bye A, I don't know you anymore, I used to, and okay. Alright, so, take the node with E in it, and point it to the node with E, allocate the values in the node. They said, find the node containing the search key. You tell it our search key. Yeah, why, why? Find the node that A. No, the node that A can be deleted from the list. Nobody said was searching. They are basically pointing two nodes to each other and then we have a key. Have a key. Number C. Write code, 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 code. For the following stack operations. The stack is implemented as a pick size where the array top and max are global variables. Thanks for setting that those up for us. Um, go over here, we're to represent the index of the item at the top of the stack and the maximum number of items in the stack respectively. Represent the code as function such that the stack array back is accepted as the parent. So, let's push, push. Do you have to do a void? No, do you have to do everything? I know, so it's void. Push. And we push into the stack and we push in our value x. Um, stack is an array, stack is an array, stack is an array. So I'll put the stack is to stack. Right. What do I do when I'm pushing through the stack? I am going to check to see if top is equal to max minus one. Then I am going to print the stack is full. Else, once the stack is not full, I am going to say stack. No, I can't be top by one. Top must go up by one. Top plus plus. And then I'm going to say stack top is equal to x. And then I'm going to put the little brackets here. Right here. Alright, so if the top is equal to max minus one, that means the rack up. And um, the pop now, the pop from the stack, we have uh, int because it's a return. And we just pop and we just send the stack. We don't need to know about value and that kind of thing. So pop from the stack, the pop from the stack, I am going to say if um, top is equal to zero, no, equal to minus one. Yeah, if top is equal to minus one, print up the stack is empty and else, what do we do with else? Well, we want to take the value that's at the top of the variable in value. I'll say value is equal to stack top and then stack minus minus and then return the value and that was easy. Eight marks, you know. Eight marks for that, seven marks for that. Give all that, you know. Keep all the not that you got to that. The following five integers are stored in array ARR. Write code to declare the array ARR. 
about 20 and R1234. Briefly explain how the selection sort algorithm works. Well, 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 well. Three marks? All that, all in lines? Wow. The first value. Oh. The first value is compared with every other value. Like this value is compared with every other value. To see if there is anyone that is smaller. If, it's, if there is a smaller one, if there is a smaller one, then it is swapped the process by comparing the next and then all the others or all the others. Until there are no person available. Yeah, that's the best you get. You see, they have the selection sort and source and array by rule. Repeatedly find any smallest element from the unsorted part of the array. Swap with the leftmost element of the unsorted region. That element becomes part of the sorted array. This process continues moving the unsorted array boundary by one element to the right until the entire list is sorted. Pass 1 will get the 2 down here and then the 34 up there. 56, 12, and 89 will still be there. Pass 2, the 2 will stay there. The 56 and the 12 will swap. 12 and 56 will up there. The 89 and the 34 will stay there. Pass 3, the 2 and the 12 locked in. The 34 and the 56 will end up swapping. The 89 will go there. And then next last pass now. The 2, 12, 34, and then 56 will go swap with 89. Yeah, that is really, really, really simple. Oh, look, a linear search, yes? Oh, nice. Consider the linear search algorithm. How many comparisons will this algorithm need before it determines the book? that the value 51 is present in the array below. Justify your answer. All right, so we'll compare once, twice, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it will use the, will be eight comparisons because, I don't know, it will count, it will have to move eight spaces. It will have to move eight spaces to eventually reach the value 51. Mean all of the space here, well, Right, C code I will sort the array in B using a bubble sort. Alright, this is where this is where the um this is where I could mess it up. Everything was going nice. Now you had a right code for a bubble sort. But the bubble sort is the easiest sort out of all of them. It's basically two arrays and you're, you're swapping each one one after the other. Like really don't have much to do here. So let's start with um we starting with we had to create the temp so we start and how we must have the temp and then we had to create the only we had to create the variables for the two loops so we'll create the i is equal to zero well normally there's use an i and a j you could use c and x or you could use c and whatever you feel like it yes but um i and j if you cram it off you'll probably have to cram off the i and j how much locations we have in this array? 8, 9, 10, 10 locations. So we're going to go for i is equal to 0, i less than 10, i plus plus. That will give us the, that'll give us the outer loop. Once you have the outer loop, you just had to throw in a loop inside there one time for the j. So it'll be 4, j is equal to 0, j less than 10 minus i, I think. 10 minus i. 10 minus i, I had a minus 1. That way it wouldn't go straight on to the end. As it is the only catch inside a um a bubble sort. Everything else is straightforward. Once you understand how the sort does work. Then you go J plus plus goes to be J is less than 10 i minus 1. And once that is inside there, you're going to undo the comparisons now. So you're going to compare if was in was in the name of the array. The name of the array is, that didn't give us any, right? So we use R. If A R R location I. No, not location I, location J. If J, yeah. So if location J, which is the starter zero because we're going through all of them here is um less than or greater than the bubble sort is always going to try to get the biggest value down to the end smallest smallest value to the left biggest value to the right yeah. if that location if that are the, the first location is greater than the next one arrj plus one Ooh. then you will swap the hardest part is to write the actual swap then we're going to say temp is equal to arrg the value inside arrg yeah and then we're going to take the a r r g equal what's inside there is equal to a r r g plus one and then we're going to replace the a r r g plus one with what is inside them and once that happened then we will close up the next we close up the if close up the second four internal four and close up the external four probably so not a problem 13 marks boy if they were doing real nice on this paper this is a board giving kind of custom mm -hmm. look they have two ways in the answer should you know they have a they have a normal way and they have, they have a efficient way the nicest module one i've seen a long time the 
probably other nicest model around like 2014.